What's happening, everybody? Thank you for coming here. It's an honor, and I love doing these videos. I try to inspire or uh, try to make one person feel better, and if I can change anybody's thoughts or, or mood for at least one second, that I'm doing my job guys so thank you I want everybody to come together and, and let's just build a big power feel something special going down but this video right here this is to the NFL now I'm doing it for the Buffalo Bills but first I want to say um, Tom Brady Tom Brady that is unbelievable what you have accomplished you beat my team for a lot of years in New England and uh, I can admit what you have done is just unbelievable without winning the Super Bowl this year, but for you to go to a new team and win the Super Bowl, like this stuff just does not happen, guys. I've been a football fan since a little boy, and the people come and go in the NFL very quickly. It's hard to stick around a long time. You know, I remember Joe Montana and Jim Kelly, Troy Aikman, you know, like these guys were top of the class, and they died out eventually. For him to be in his 40s winning Super Bowls, it just blows my mind. So a big congratulations to Tom Brady. He deserves it, man. He deserves everything uh, uh, praise that he gets, man. That guy's the man. Another thing I want to say, it's about Colin Kaepernick, you know. I know people have different opinions on what's happened with him or, or what that situation was. But one thing I would like, I heard that he was working very hard. And if he's working as hard as... Um, I'm understanding he is. I think he should be given another chance to at least work for it. I'm not saying um, teams have to give him a job. I'm not saying, you know, I'm saying give him a chance. If he's working hard for it right now at home in his own time, then a team just needs to let him show up to, to, to training, uh, OTAs. You just need him to show up and give him a chance. You know, I understand people's um, opinions are totally different on that. Some teams just don't want nothing to do with it. But if he can earn it, he has to earn it. But I think he deserves a chance to at least earn it because he was a very good quarterback and he just got away right off the mat. And, you know, I think a year or two prior to that, he was just running shit. He went to the Super Bowl with the Niners and, you know, he's got a lot of skill, but at least he deserves a chance. That's all I want to say with that. And the other thing is, guys, this is for the Buffalo Bills. We're gonna do the top 10 Buffalo Bills plays of this year. Um, I'm a diehard Bills fan. I haven't missed one game since probably 89 unless it was blacked out. If it was blacked out, I could do nothing about it. Uh, the, the big comeback game against uh, Houston, uh, that was blacked out, I had to miss it. Um, my, my childhood heroes were Jim Kelly and Thurman Thomas and Andre Reid, Bruce Smith. I used to always pretend I was them when I would play football. And the reason why I'm saying all this now is because I'm so proud of the team I have today. I feel like there's something big coming with us. I thought it was this year, but it was a little bit early, but this year was great. Josh Allen, he's my guy. He is the most favorite player I've ever had. You know, when I was young, I had those dreams with Jim Kelly, but, uh, um, and, and he was like my dude and still is, but Josh Allen just gives me a feeling. I just believe in him, man. I, I believe in his work ethic, I believe in his knowledge, and I, I believe in him to bring us to new heights. And him and Stefan Diggs, thank you Stefan Diggs. I believe your contract's up from what I understand, and I think you will stay because I think you found a home in appreciation, and I think we have something special in Buffalo, and I appreciate you guys because you guys give me something. You know, when I have a game the next week on a Sunday, uh, you know, it gives me an excited feeling. I wait for it all week. Or if something gets too bad, you know, I'm all right. Because in the back of my head, I know I have football on Sunday. And you guys give me that. Football as a whole gives me that. I think football you know, is the best sport. It gives me something, uh, a rawness, a her rawness that any other sport can't give me. But it helps me in real life. You know, it just, just having that next game. Like when we were in the playoffs this year and, and we win... And we had, I'm like, yes, just to have another game, you know, I was very appreciative of it. I felt it. And that Bills team, Sean McDermott, uh, Brandon Bean, um, the Pugulas, thank you. Thank you for just buying the team. I was following it, man, like crazy, always. And I remember when you bought the team and there was a lot of, you know, we didn't know what the future was, but you secured that for us. 
And then we, we went through all our associates. We're trying to find the right person to run the team and the right coaches, you know, with Rex Ryan. And, and um, uh, there, was, uh, there was just a lot of turnover. And we got McDermott and we put Brandon Bean. I really like Brandon Bean. I like McDermott. He's hung. He, he holds you accountable. There's just nothing but respect. And I respect people that work hard. That's what makes me feel good, you know? Uh, when I see people work, it's just nothing but respect. And I think if you wanna get somewhere in life, you kinda have to work hard, man. If you're lazy or just sit around or, you know, shit ain't gonna happen. So I just appreciate what the NFL as a whole does. And I appreciate my Buffalo Bills. It hits my heart on my red, uh, my red pocket right here. But uh, the NFL as a whole, man, I think you do a lot for people in general. And uh, I'm just thankful to have football, man. I'm already, missing football and it just ended so i know my dude josh allen's kicking ass right now working hard um he's probably already started working man and uh, the sky's the limit and i can't wait to see i know i'm gonna get my first super bowl i cried after those other super bowls with the, those four losses they're one of my earliest memories and i cried and you know i got i got beat up at school you know like the dallas cowboy fans and all that man like it got rubbed in and my heart hurt but I was still always back the next year. But I remember crying after the Super Bowl losses, man. They affected me that much. When we do win that Super Bowl, it's going to feel incredible because it's going to you know, overcome all those feelings I have of losing those first four and all the heartbreak along the way because Bills fans have been through a lot of heartbreak. So what up, Bills Mafia? Um, we're going to do the top 10 plays of this year. It was just something to add to the video, guys. I just wanted to put a video out there talking about my crew. I, I believe Bill's Mafia. You guys are crazy. I love it. I've been to the games out there with you. It's been years. I haven't been through a table, but man, you guys got me laughing when I see that, man. One, one, I remember one time I watched a guy. He had the football and there was a keg and everybody beat the crap out of him. He had the football. He tried to run through him. And they laid him out. This guy's getting kicked and everything. Next thing you know, they, they pick him up, turn him upside down on the keg, and he does a keg stand, chugging it. And, and the guy, I didn't know how he did it because he was like, just got beat up for like 10 minutes straight. <laughs> it's like, yeah, man, this shit's different here. So I'm going to shut up, guys. I'm just excited. My passion comes out when I do these videos, and I need to get a Buffalo Bills video in. So it's three minutes long, guys. Top 10 plays. Let's do this. Thank you for being here. This is Noble Nation. I'm Slim Noble, man. And uh, I'm feeling good about life, man. I'm feeling an aura. And uh, let's all capture it. Become part of that aura together, guys. Let's do this. Reaction time. Wilson motions top of your screen. Oh, is this the interception? Mullins in some trouble. Get him. Able to get rid of it. Nice. And White. it was White. close. Wilson looked like he had it, and Tredavious White took it away from him for Buffalo. I remember that. Nice play. Nice play. Go. Easy, man. Samuel in motion. Good by Mostar to pick up the blitz. Nice. It's off the hands of Ayuk, and we're going the other way. Micah Hyde for Buffalo has it all the way down. In I'm surprised. First couple plays, and we got interceptions, man. I'm really surprised, man. Let's go. Inside the five-yard line. Wow. He's oh, gets mixed why. up here. This ball hits him right in the hands. You got to go down, make that play. For the end zone. Nice. Touchdown. We're going to win the game. Clark. Yeah. The Bills have the lead with 15 seconds left. One worked out. They both worked out, but they were close. Allen faking the hand. Oh, He's going to swing it again towards the end zone. Beautiful. With his Beautiful. Touchdown. And another brilliant pass by Allen. 72. Oh, pick it and off. Back the go, other way for go, 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 go. Touchdown, Bills. Touchdown. Newton will keep it. 
I was not expecting all these defensive plays, man. I was expecting nonstop Allen and Diggs. Wow. But hey, they're big plays to win games. Let's go. Singletary wow. into the open field. Devin Singletary with an exclamation point for the Bills. I didn't even remember that. Debut. As he charges the football loose, gets it back to Josh Allen. They're trying to build on a seven-point lead. Allen taking a shot. Up oh, what a play. Allen dropping it Diggs. down. And Diggs with a strong Diggs. Genius. Dig it out, Diggs. Dig it out. Locked on the 25-yard line. Oh. Defense again. Up, lost the football. Oh, this was That's huge. Lucy huge. Jerry Hughes has it. This was huge. Still on his feet. Inside the 20. He might go. He gets the final block, and Jerry Hughes takes that it home. That was big time, man. Jerry Hughes went up. That's over. Hey, I just had to get a video in. I was a big sports fan growing up. And uh, I thought let's throw a couple extra topics in there, football-wise. NFL football, it's a powerhouse. And uh, I respect the game so much, man. So thank you, guys. Keep grinding in life, man. I am. And uh, I got your back if I can do anything about it. So thank you for being here. Let's go. Noble Nation, Slim Noble, NFL in the house. Powerhouse NFL. Buffalo Bills, I love you. Josh Allen, you're my man crush, brother. I'm out.